Hi, I'm Gary White for Channel 6, Central Kentucky Television, and I'm here at Bethel Star Apostolic Church right on Lincoln Avenue in Lebanon. I'm here with Pastor Johnson, pastor of the church here pastor we've had here. on before yes, with us. Yes. And we're going to talk about a revival that's coming up. Yes, yes. Yes, and it's going to be called, it's called Outside the Walls 2019 Tent Revival. And it's coming up June 21st and 22nd. And 22nd uh, next Friday, and actually on my birthday. Okay. Next, next Friday and Saturday. Uh, uh, we are putting on this event for the community of Lebanon. And we've been doing this uh, tent revival for a few years now. But we want to bring, Brother Gary, something positive back to the community. Mm -hmm. And the Lord had laid on my heart about a tent revival. And so I seen a brochure that said outside the walls. So I thought I would use that brochure outside the wall. Bethel Star Apostolic Church present outside of the wall 2019 tent revival. This tent revival is for the whole community of Lebanon, the whole community of uh, Marion County, or even the surrounding community. We just want to bring something positive back to this wonderful and beautiful city of Lebanon. And the main objective of this tent revival is to bring people hope, to bring hope to okay. people in this community and to let them know that Lebanon is a positive place to live. Lebanon is a positive place uh, to raise your, uh, your family, to retire, whatever that you want to do in the city of Lebanon. It's a good community to live in. Absolutely. And it's going to be taking place nightly on the 21st and 22nd at 7 p.m. Mm -hmm. It's actually going to be right by the church. Right, right here on the church grounds. Everyone is welcome. Uh, if you're dealing with any type of substance abuse, alcohol, drug-related, mental issues, or you maybe you got a family member that's struggling uh, with some issues, invite them to this tent revival. I can promise you one thing. If they come with an open mind looking for help, they will get the help they need at this tent revival. This tent revival is, uh, is to let the people in this community know that we have not always been where we are as, as now, that we was once out here on the streets. We was once out here doing the things that we should not do. But now God has brought some positiveness to our life. He has brought deliverance to our life. And we just want to share something positive. You know, sometimes when I pick up the newspaper in Lebanon, uh, I go to certain communities, uh, I hear so much bad news, so much drugs and so much crime, so much this is going on. Well, the church is like a lighthouse, a beacon of hope, a beacon of, of guidance and direction. So this tent revival is for everyone. You don't have to be on drugs to come to this tent revival. Maybe you got a sickness in your body. Maybe you're dealing with cancer, sugar diabetes, or high blood pressure, whatever it is. We pray for the sick nightly that God will touch their minds and their bodies. Absolutely. And Bethel Star Apostolic Church is located, what's the address here? 328 Lincoln Avenue here in the city of Lebanon. This church has been established here since 1927. It's a long time, 1927. I've been coming in and out these doors since 1981, right at 39 years now. And I've been pastoring here uh, full time, will be 11 years uh, this coming October. And I was assistant pastor here for about 18 to 20 years, something like that. So I'm, I'm familiar to this community. A lot of people in this community know me. I love the city of Lebanon. I love being back in Lebanon. Uh, we moved down from Lexington to come back home to pastor this church. Why did I come back home? God sent me here because I want to help the people in this community. So when we are out here on the streets with the tent revival or the street meetings, it's not to condemn nobody. It's not to put nobody in hell. It's to let them understand that there is a way out, and that way out is Jesus. Okay. So tell us about the revival itself. What can people expect each night? When you come to this revival, this, this tent revival, uh, you're going to have good singing. We're going to have plenty of good singing, uh, probably some testimonies of what God has done for people and what God has brought people from. Uh, you're going to get the love of God, the love of his people, and the presence of God. I promise you, you come to this tent revival. I don't care what your status is in life. You could be rich. You could be poor. It doesn't matter to me. You could be educated or undereducated. Everybody is treated the same. Every Sunday morning, before I take and preach my message, I have every member in this church to shake people's hands. I say, reach over and shake somebody's hand. 
Tell them it's good to see you today. Why do I do this? We don't know what people have to struggle with every Saturday night to come to church every Sunday morning. So I want people to understand that when they come to this 10 revival, you're going to be revived. You're going to have hope. You're going to have uh, the, uh, the stamina to want to go on with your life and not, not throw in the towel and give up on yourself. Family members may give up on you. You may even give up on yourself. But one thing I love about God, he'll never give up on you. And is it something for people to come both nights, or should they come one night, or how's that work? If, if you can come Friday night, which is the 21st, wonderful. If you can come Saturday night, which is the 22nd, wonderful. Whichever night you choose to come, you come. I hope you can come both nights. But if you cannot come both nights, please, you don't want to miss this tent revival. I, I promise you, this tent revival is going to touch the hearts and the minds of the people. This tent revival is to bring hope. Who doesn't need hope sometimes? We all get discouraged with life sometimes. Life can deal you a bad hand. Not because you're a bad person. Life, listen to me. Cancer is one of the leading killers in America. Cancer doesn't discriminate. It can hit my family. It can hit your family. And sometimes we need somebody to talk to. Somebody that we can relate to. So when you come to this tent revival and you hear the singing, you hear the testimonies, you hear the preaching, you say, you know what? I can relate to that. I went through the same thing that this man's talking about just last week. So this tent revival is going to let you know you're not the only one that life has dealt a bad hand. When life deal you a bad hand, don't play to lose. Don't play the hand to lose. Play the hand to win. Regardless of what the odds is, still play the hands to win. This is what I love about God. If you play the hand to win, God will help you to win. Absolutely. And it even says on the flyer here, bring the sick, substance abuse, and mental illness. You don't want to miss your time for delivery. Yes. And it's amazing that you would say, listen, the sick. A lot of times we got sickness in our bodies and and we got infirmities in our bodies, even diseases in our bodies. And we go to the doctors. Thank God for these doctors. Where would we be at with our doctors? But it comes a time that you know, as well as I know, that sometimes it seems like even the medication is not really taking, not doing what it should do. Well, there is a medication. His name is Jesus. He's able to touch your sick body. I tell the people here at the church all the time, I said, if God knew how to put a heart in a man, if God knew how to put a brain in a man, then he knows all about our bodies. Who better knows about your body than the creator who made that body? He can heal your body. A lot of times people are having mental battles, and sometimes people are pushed over the edge because they, they see, they're dramatized on what they see, they're dramatized about what they go through. And sometimes you, you, your mind can go. But God said in his word, he'll keep those in perfect peace whose mind is stayed on him. So God is able to fix your mind. Substance abuse. Let's look at substance abuse. Now, substance abuse can come in many ways. You know, you got social drinkers, you got social this and social that. But an abuse is an abuse. You dealing with some type of substance abuse, don't give up on yourself. Don't throw in the towel on yourself. Come to this tent revival and find some comfort. Find some hope. Find some meaning to your life. You know, I deal with people that's on drugs all the time. I deal with people who's on alcohol all the time. And, and I see them staggering down the streets. I see them paranoia. And, 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 and I try to talk with them and let them understand, you don't have to live the way you're living. But you got to acknowledge that I need help. you got to acknowledge that I want deliverance. Without an alcoholic, acknowledging that he's an alcoholic, who can help him? He's, he, he's fooling himself. He's lying to himself. I always use this scenario at the church. I said, can an alcoholic be a bartender? No, he can't. No, he can't. An alcoholic cannot be a bartender at a bar. No, he can't. Because why? His weakness is alcohol. Why would you go into an environment that you know that's going to weaken you. This tent revival will bring deliverance. Let me give you this short testimony about myself. 
39 years ago, I, I share this all the time with people, with young people mostly. I was on drugs. I was on alcohol. I started on drugs at 14 years old. What did I want brought up in a good home? My mom and them sent us to church. We brought up in a good home, a uh, well-respected home. My father was military. It, what, what had nothing to do, so, so to speak, with my background. It was decisions I made at a young age. When I got on drugs and my hands was burnt with dope, my lips was burnt with dope, I grew my own dope until God sent a precious, precious white brother into an all-black neighborhood. He came into this neighborhood preaching Jesus. I didn't want to hear nothing about God. I didn't want to hear nothing about God. But there was something about that young man that caught my attention. He invited me to an apostolic church. And I went to the door of the church. And I heard the music playing. You know what the devil told me? The devil said, they don't allow animals into the church. So I walked away from the door. But in my heart, I wanted to go in. The next church service, I said to myself, I don't care how people look at me. I don't care what people say to me. I need help. I went into that church. And when I went into that church, I'm still in that church right today. 39 years later, I never smoked another cigarette. I never popped another pill. I never snorted again. I have not had alcohol in my body for almost 40 years. I was delivered, Brother Gary. And again, that's going to be for the Outside the Walls 2019 yes. Yes. Tent Revival. Tent Revival. It's going to be on June the 21st and 22nd, yes. starting at 7 o'clock each night. It's going to be right here at Bethel Star Apostolic Church, which is on Lincoln Avenue in Lebanon. And if somebody's not familiar with the church here, tell us a little about Bethel Star Apostolic Church. Bethel Star Apostolic Church, as I said earlier, has been here since 1927. Uh, the original church, you're familiar with uh, uh, Star Bethel in Riley, Kentucky. Mm -hmm. There's a church called Star Bethel in Riley, Kentucky. Uh, the Honorable Sister uh, uh, Pastor Niffley started that church, Lord have mercy, back in the early 20s. Some of her sisters from that church will have service in Riley, Kentucky that morning. They will come to Lebanon Sunday evening and have Sunday school. And they would catch the train from Riley to Lebanon. So they decided, instead of coming, doing that every week, they decided to open up a church here in Lebanon. This was nothing but a little barn, a little barn. Mm -hmm. And they, they got into this barn. They, uh, they cleaned the barn out. They painted the barn. They put drywall up on the barn and redone the roof and put a pool in the barn and outside facilities in the back. And from 1927, to 2019, this little thing that was a barn uh, has became one of the pillars in the city of, of Lebanon. So this church has been here since 1927. Two sisters of the church originated, started this church. Uh, uh, when sister, uh, uh, the sister that started this church could not no longer take it uh, because she wasn't blind. Uh, Pastor William Perry Forey out of Louisville, Kentucky took it over. When he left, he went to Texas. Uh, then the Honorable Elder Calvin H. Ferguson took over for about 40 years. I came underneath his tutorship. When he could no longer take it over, our Elder Michael Johnson took the church over in 2008 and been here ever since. So it's a great history, great mm -hmm. history in this, in this church. A lot of people, a lot of people uh, has come through these doors from... Uh, from, from lawyers to, to senators to, uh, had came here and spoke here. And uh, uh, when they was campaigning, they would come here and, and we would give them room to campaign and to speak, to speak to the congregation. So this church is no, uh, is no surprise to the city of Lebanon. It's been here since 1927. And everyone is welcome for the revival. Absolutely. Listen, uh, again, the revival is the 21st and the 22nd of June, this coming this coming uh, next week, uh, uh, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. You don't have to wait until the tent revival. Tuesday night, we have a uh, Bible class from 7 to 8. Wednesday, we have a short praise and worship from 7 to 7.30. Friday night is youth night where they, they get to participate. They get to uh, open up the service. They get to uh, uh, sing songs. They get to participate into the service called the youth is the backbone of the church. Sunday morning. Sunday school starts at 10 o'clock. 
Morning service starts at 11.30. We out by 1 o'clock, 1.30. Come, any of these times, any of these services, you're more than welcome. Not just the tent revival. Come through the weekdays. And I promise you, I promise you, you will get three things in, in this church at Bethel Star. Nobody will judge you. I don't care what your background is. I don't care where you come from. I don't care where you've been. I'm not worried about where you came from. I'm worried about where you are and where you're trying to go to. You will get the love of God. You will get the presence of God. And you will get the love of his people at Bethel Star. And if you want some more information, the phone number sure. to call is 270-699-3611. And mark your calendars for the Outside the Walls 2019 Tent Revival here at 328 Lincoln Avenue in Lebanon with Bethel Star Apostolic Church, June 21st and 22nd, starting at 7 o'clock. Everyone is welcome. Everyone is welcome. Now, Gary had just gave you the number. I gave my personal home number because a lot of times people call to the church and they can't reach me. So my personal home number is 270-699-3611. If you need a ride to the tent revival, if you need a ride to the church services, call my number. We have two vans, two church vans. We'll be gladly to pick you up wherever you're located in Lebanon or you in the county of Marion. We will come and pick you up. If you're outside the city limits uh, that you need a ride, call me in time enough where we can set up an arrangement as a designated place to meet you at. You want to come church at Brother Star Apostolic Church, we will provide your way. But we can't provide a way if you don't call us. So come to this tent revival Friday, June the 21st. Saturday, June the 27th at 7 o'clock. I promise you, you'll, be, you'll leave here saying, can't nobody do me like Jesus. Can't nobody do me like the Lord. God bless you. Thank you very much. And again, I've been here with Pastor Johnson with Bethel Star Apostolic Church. This has been Gary White for Channel 6, Central Kentucky Television. God bless you. Thank you.